So Elvis, in the case of SR versus Kenton County Sheriff's Office, uh, why did you think the kid got handcuffed? Um, the reason why the kid got handcuffed is because he was caught swinging on the officer. He was uh, swinging and maybe fighting in that case. So the kid was caught hitting the officer? Pretty much, yes. Okay, but how, but how old was the kids or kid? Um, the kid was eight year old. Eight years old? Yeah, he was um, like a boy. Eight years old. Um, he weighs about 50 ish pound. He's three and a half feet tall. Yeah. How do you think, or how do you think, how did you think the officer saw the kid as a threat and was like to a point of needing to put the kid in handcuffs? Um, it wasn't really much of a threat. I mean, um, the boy was um, little, he weighs a little, and can't really hurt the police, so there wasn't really any threat to begin with, you know. Um, the police had all the powers, all the controls, and he could have done things a little bit better. How do you think the cop could have done differently? Like, what he could have done differently? Um, I think the police would have just... Um, talk to the kid, you know, sit with the kid um, and help him understand um, on what he did is wrong and um, how would the kid feel if the police did that to the kid, you know, and make the kid understand um, that it's not right to do that, to hit or swing at the police or any of those things. And, yeah. How... Um. Did this happen to any other kids at that school? Um, there was one other girl who was a, a year older than the boy who was um, apparently had the same issue. And of ADHD? Yes, ADHD. And then, um, um, you know, disability thing can really... Um, go through your brain and that's the reason why the kid was caught swinging on the police officer and the, um, there was just those two girls at the moment that were shown I guess swinging and and the police didn't um, didn't um, treat them how you're supposed to treat kids and especially with the disability the police um, handcuffed the kid on their elbow, like on the back elbow. Like elbow and bicep? Yes, and it, it's really painful and tough on the kid. And we saw um, the kid on the video. Oh, there was a video? Yes, there was a video of a kid. Um, the police was trying to like make the kid sit and he handcuffed him in the back on up the elbow and he, he was um, like um, expressing his feeling, like it hurts. And he really like was training him and he, it did not look um, fun at all. He was going through a lot of like pain, you know, and struggles through that. Uh, what is the constitutional issue in this case? Um, the constitutional issue is um, disability rights. A case of disability rights, yes. So that's a case of disability rights. And didn't you say the two kids were no. different? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Different. Uh, different races. Different races slash nationalities. Yeah, different races slash nationality. Um, one was um, La um, Latino, and the other was um, African American, you know. And I do believe it's not really a good thing to treat people from like different nationality, different um, places, you know, badly, you know. So it's bad for the image of that officer and his uh, station. Yes. That he 
did that. Mm -hmm. Which further makes the case worse and worse. Yeah, and can be po can potentially be racist. The, um, like a racial issue as well as a disability rights? Yes, it can. Um, I mean, I think it could also technically be a school to prison rights as well. Yes. School in prison because he wasn't, or at least in the video, he wasn't said his rights. He wasn't told his rights. Yeah. Along uh, with, it's a nine-year-old. Yeah. He doesn't understand what yeah. those are. Yeah, and the police took all the rights from the kids um, and just wasn't um, good, um, including they're from different races, you know. Um, he was being very tough, very mean, very um, just horrible. Very harsh on the kids. Very harsh. Very harsh indeed. So and, would you say the kid is safe and happy, healthy, no like psychological trauma, anything after what happened that day? Um, not entirely safe because from the handcuff, he could um, dis suffer from dislocation, you know, placement because uh, it was um, very tough, you know, very hard and painful. And I just don't think um, kids can handle um, all those kind of stuff. At that age? Yeah, at that age. And they're not supposed to. Yeah, they, they're not they're supposed kids, to. They're kids, they're learning. Yeah, they're learning. They don't understand um, what's good or bad. And they're, um, they should be taught the right thing, or what's good, or this is bad. You know, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. You should be more uh, polite and those kind of stuff. Um, encouragement is a key to help those kids. All right, if I can say something, if I was in this officer's shoes, I would probably tell, like, if, if I was in a situation and the kid hit me mm -hmm. and I'm a cop, I'm walking around, yes. I would grab the kid, not, not, not hurt him, but like just grab the kid, sit him down for a second. Mm -hmm. Tell him that like hitting's not the like res like the resolve for the issue that he's having. Uh, that if he needs to like vent or anything, he should talk to a teacher, talk to a talk to a student, resolve the problems that he might have been feeling at the time. Yeah, uh, and the oct officer should have acted more mature in the situation yes i don't think handcuffing was the right decision i think he really should have just sat the kid down and t told him what he did wrong absolutely correct it teach him not force him if that makes sense uh-huh like show him what he did wrong versus action. like action and being harsh and stuff. yeah being harsh yes and with that being said uh what do you think like, what are, your, what are your thoughts on this case? Um, my thoughts on this case is um, I don't think the police officer did um, anything good. He, he did a horrible choice, a horrible thing to handcuff those kids because, um, first of all, they're from different race, different nationality, which is already bad. You know, which how, is a racial comfort, like, confidential issue. Yes. And how would people think of that how how will people see um this officer depicted after that yes and it, the community are going to assume uh, the worst yes assume the worst and have bad um thinking of um like white polices you know because it's just um very bad and i feel like um he should have been more um like better and sat the kid down, like explain to him that of what he did to help the community understand that like he's actually like doing a good job and there are um, a lot of people like him, but no, he did a horrible choice, you know. Um, yeah. He also um, could have um, just um, talked to the um, parents or the teacher. Yeah, parents, teachers, and help the... Speaking of the parents, 
How do you think the parents felt when their kid told them what happened at school today or that day? Okay, um, the parents, I feel like the parents will feel really bad because uh, just think about your child being uh, mistreated and... For have, things they can't control. Yes, including they have the ADHD. Um, as a parent, I would feel really sad. I would feel really bad. I would, really heartbroken. Um, yes, I'll be um, even just crying over my son. Son being... Um, son or daughter. Yes, son or daughter being um, mistreated badly. And I just don't think um, the police thought of all of these things, thought of their parents, thought of their races, and, and thought of... Disabilities. Uh, disability disorders, and even um, that it's a child, you know? The police doesn't even, like, consider that it's a child that he's... Yeah, he's acting, acting as if the kid is an adult. Yeah, and he is just very bad, potentially even racist. In some case, it's just um, not um, good at all. It doesn't uh, seem really well. Okay. And that's the conclusion of our opinions of SR versus Kenton County Sheriff's Office. Yes.